Hello, here is a Yamaha 92 stroke and I'm going to show you how to replace the impeller in this engine. So one of the first things you want to do on the engine is you want to tilt the motor all the way up. Once the motor is tilted all the way up, put your safety bracket on, tilt the motor down until it fully rests on the bracket. So now we're gonna come here, you wanna pop this cap off. Usually, usually you could pop it off with your fingers. If not, use a flathead screwdriver. Um, the reason why you wanna take this off because there is a bolt down here that holds the trim tab zinc. And we need to remove the zinc um, because there is another bolt under here that is um, holding the lower unit to the midsection. So you are going to use a 12 millimeter socket with an extension. Make sure you hold the trim tab because it's going to be moving around. It's going to come out like that. And the bolt, you could just leave the bolt inside there, which is fine. And make sure you put the trim tab somewhere safe so you don't lose this. So once the zinc is removed, there is another bolt right here that is holding the lower unit. You need to remove it. It is a 12 millimeter bolt. So we have to disconnect the speedo tube and it's located uh, in the rear of the midsection. It's really easy. Mike had to give it some twists and tugs, uh, but you want to pull on it and it should come right out just like that. The next step is removing these bolts. You have two on one side and two on the other, on the other side and you do, it does require a 14 millimeter wrench. It's always good to have a hammer to break uh, the bolts loose. So after you remove the bolts, you do want to leave one bolt intact on the lower unit. You don't want it completely screwed in because we don't want the lower unit to completely drop on us. So I'm going to remove the bolt by hand now. Once the bolt is removed, you want to place it somewhere safely so you don't lose it. Now you want to use your hand and hit it right here while you're holding the lower unit. There we go. It's really important to have a good working environment. Um, I have my uh, lower unit on a stand uh, and underneath it there is a rag and there's a rubber um, material so it, doesn't, it won't really hurt uh, the lower unit. <clears throat> Make sure you know you can place like a rag or something. Uh, we are going to remove the water pump housing. There is four 12 millimeter bolts that are holding it. So what you want to do is you want to remove all of them. So once you have removed all the bolts, the housing will come out. Uh, this one, someone put silicone on the gaskets, which is not required, but it's going to take a little bit more effort to remove the housing. So. the water pump housing, the metal um, housing that's inside the water pump housing uh, was left on the lower unit, which is uh, not really common. This is pretty rare. Just use a flathead screwdriver to pry it off. There it is, and you are exposed to your impeller. So you can remove the impeller um, 
two different ways you can try to pull it off which sometimes uh, it won't work and you need a flathead to break uh, the seal at the bottom this impeller is really on the shaft coming really slowly. All right, so we're gonna install the new impeller. Um, I went with a genuine Yamaha impeller. There's many aftermarket brands they could go with, so whatever you're comfortable with, uh, you should go with. The Yamaha impeller is a really great OEM part, but it is a little pricey, so. It's up to you guys. Um, you wanna grab some grease, grease up the shaft a little bit here. So when we slide the impeller, it goes on really easily. You wanna look at your uh, impeller. Here's a new one I put on the shaft. Uh, there's only on one side a notch for the key. So on this side, see the notch? It's gonna go like that. On this side, there's no notch. But on this side, the notch is right there. Um, new impeller is on um, it's really important to make sure uh, the notch lines up with the key on the drive shaft just like that um, when you are, are uh, installing your water pump housing you want to make sure that there is no debris um, blocking any of these passages um, I actually see this passage right here I actually pulled out two broken fins that was clogging the water flow and I have one of the fins um, where is it I'm trying to find one of the fins that I found broken in here here's one of them see this this was wedged in here with two pieces and this will actually go up through your pickup tube if it's small enough and it'll completely clogged it'll, it'll completely clog your, your water pickup and it could cause overheating problems. So make sure you, this is uh, open like that. Um, inspect your gaskets, make sure they're not ripped or anything. So you're gonna put your housing just like that. Put pressure on your water pump housing and in turn your drive shaft clockwise. So once your water pump housing is installed on the impeller, you wanna grab your bolts, take some grease, Grease it up really good, so next time you service the impeller, the bolts come out really easily. You wanna do that for all four bolts. So I have all the bolts um, pretty much snug tight. You do not want to over tighten this. Make sure the bolts are tight, but not oh, um, too tight. Make sure you get all, all four. So this is really important. You want to get a clean rag, clean the end of the drive shaft, and you need to re-grease it with new grease. Because um, if you don't do this, I had a few motors, um, the drive shaft will actually seize in the power head. And sometimes the lower unit won't even come out because the drive shaft just seize in the power head. So now we are ready to assemble the lower unit onto the engine. Um, it's better to have two people because that lower unit is heavy and sometimes the drive shaft won't line up into the power head. So it's a little bit more difficult. Uh, make sure you have one of the bolts that bolts up to the midsection on hand. Um, you, you want to use some grease at the end of this. So I'm gonna grab my lower unit slide it in here like I said this is a little difficult putting it in You also want to make sure that your the tube goes through the hole in the back of the midsection and watch your water pickup tube 
make sure that goes into your water pump housing. So this one, I didn't have to move the drive shaft a little bit because it lined up perfectly with the power head. Get one of your bolts, screw it in a little bit into the midsection. And this will hold the lower unit in place while we tighten the rest of the bolts. There you go. Now we're just gonna put the necessary bolts on the lower unit now. You wanna come back here and make sure you connect the tubes together and that you don't forget that. Now uh, I tight, tighten all the bolts on the lower unit. Gonna put this bolt in, in right here where the trim tab goes. Screw that in. <clears throat> Get your 12 millimeter socket on your wrench. Once it's getting tight, you want to tighten it up. So now we are going to install the trim tab. This is a good time to replace your trim tab if it's all corroded. Um, they're not expensive. I believe this was 20 bucks. It's a good investment. So I'm going to tighten the bolt down making sure the trim tab is straight. Once it's completely straight, you wanna get your tool, tighten that bolt down completely. And there you go. Make sure you put the cover on right here. This pops um, on top of where your extension was going to. Just like that and there you go that's how you replace your impeller in this engine so here's the engine um, I have it hook, hooked up everything the fuel tank the battery and I have a water source uh, after you change the impeller it's really important to make sure that the impeller is flowing properly and it's cooling uh, your engine so I'm gonna check that right now Got my water flowing. Give it some a few pumps. So the motor is working just like it should be and that's pretty much how you replace the impeller in this engine. Uh, if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and hope to see you guys again. Thanks for watching.